Good morning. Well, it was morning when I was uh, riding this road on my way to Buriram from Kaoyo National Park. So, completed Kaoyo National Park. Had to go back there. There's too much to see to uh, do it in one day, and it was expensive. I didn't want to pay 430 baht to go in for two days. The accommodation was crap too. So, I'm on the road to Buriram. Around shortly, I'll show you the hotel and uh, we'll have a look around Buriram over the next couple of videos. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Thailand Dreaming Love Letters from Retirement. Hope you enjoy the videos. Cost nothing to subscribe, cost nothing for you to share the videos. That helps me build the channel. As I've said many times before, I can't do it without you. I do appreciate your comments as well. I really love getting comments because that's the feedback I get back on the videos. You know, things you want me to do to improve it. Things you want to see throughout Thailand, etc, etc. So please enjoy Buriram Part 1. Okay, so I'm at the Hotel Klim in uh, Buriram. Parking is out the back. Pretty good, quick check in, they let me check in a little bit early, no problem. And uh, but there's no staff to uh, take your bags up for you or anything like that. It's a good looking restaurant in there, I'll try that later. So this is the pool. It's got a pool. Breakfast included in the room, which was 1,500 baht, 750 baht a night give you the uh, Australian dollar equivalent a little bit later on. A little garden area here. And um, it's the lady that did reception for me. This is the reception and the restaurant. Clean kitchen. So we'll have a look at that later on. I'll just take you out the front. It's almost opposite Buri Ram Railway Station. So convenient if you're getting a train. Yeah. There's the railway station over there. This is the hotel from the front. Klim Hotel. Key card access. Lights on. Okay, so complimentary water. There's nothing in the bar fridge down there. I didn't see a safe anywhere, but at least there's coat hangers and somewhere to hang some stuff up. Got a TV, got a work desk with a PowerPoint nearby, so I'll be able to do some video editing. Bit of a view we had over a vacant lot or whatever. I'll let you know what the bed's like, if it's comfortable. Oh, it feels good. It feels medium, medium hard. Love money. Hmm. Hmm. Speaks volumes. Yeah. The bathroom seems okay. Grout on the tiles could do with a bit, uh, a bit of uh, repair. Looks all right. No hot water system in the room, so I dare say it's a central boiler. Nice sink. Yeah, it's fairly clean and functional. Um. Yeah, I think they get a lot of Thai people here. Yeah, so that's the room. Okay, first morning in the Klim Hotel. This is the breakfast bar set up. Some juices there. Water. Uh, coffee. And over here they've got some uh, salad items. I need salad in the mornings. up an omelette or your eggs or whatever. I don't know what that is, some kind of soup. Some sauce, salt and pepper. Fruit, fresh fruit, croissant, 
and toast, which I've just made. So I'm going to have some breakfast. Good morning, everybody. I'm uh, outside the hotel, the Klim Hotel. I'm in Buriram. Welcome to the channel, Thailand Dreaming. Today's uh, day four. I'm going to go out and uh, look at some of the sites of Buriram, a few temples and park and whatnot. Uh, before I uh, head off to Mahasara come tomorrow. Yeah, so I just can't get looking at the camera and the iPhone. Always I keep looking at the screen, but you know, I guess it's a trick of the trade. I've got to learn being a beginner. Okay, so have a nice day, everybody, and uh, I'll get some more footage up later on. Ciao for now. So here I am, I'm at the uh, Chang International Racing Circuit in Buriram. This is a big spot here. Unfortunately, they won't let me in. Apparently, Honda have the place for the day. And, um, yeah, so I can't go in there and have a look. So, and it's too windy to put the drone up and the security over there reckon I can't put the drone up anyway. So, I guess I don't get to show you the, um, Buriram Chang International Circuit. So there you go. Yeah, hat and sunglasses, I know, but uh, you know, it's hot, sunny. Um, I'm gonna try a bit of tricky stuff here. I'm gonna go into this temple that's near the circuit and see if I can get the drone up around the corner where they can't see me. And then at least I can get uh, a little bit of footage of the uh, racing circuit. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Looks pretty. Looks very pretty. Not sure what the name of this place is. Or this temple, if it is a temple. Anyway, we'll have a look at it. Some big blocks of stone on that. Big, big blocks of stone. Big sand pit. I don't know what goes on there. Maybe some uh, horses or something. I'm not sure what that big stone monument is. The stone looks like it's uh, been cut a long time ago from somewhere. The ruins of something. This is a pretty amazing place. No cement, just stonework. Really good stone masonry. Yeah. Really good stone masonry. Look at the 
birds that live in here. Pretty awesome looking place. I can't believe the stone work here. There's no cement, no mortar, nothing. Just the stone and the cut of the stone. Absolutely stunning. Obviously there's a Buddha missing from there. Way here. Lots of birds to be here. There's the evidence of them. Although I don't know that they get money. Yeah, so pretty amazing looking place. I wonder if it's uh, been here for a long time or if it's. Um, been dismantled somewhere else and brought here. A lot of the stone over there looks like ruins. Maybe from here, maybe not. to have some dinner at the uh, Klim Hotel and this is a little look at the menu it looks really really good I hope it was better than breakfast I hope it is better than breakfast I'm having the uh, spinach baked spinach with cheese as an entree as you can see they've got the pork hockey which is 400 similar to the price in Bangkok Soft-shell crab rolls, you know, uh, 
raw salmon spicy dressing, uh, mussels baked in with cheese, uh, tom yum corn, tom yum corn, uh, quite a few Thai uh, dishes. Thais eat a lot of vegetables and a lot of salads. Prices are fairly reasonable. I'm having the uh, pork satay with peanut sauce, 120 baht, which is about five bucks. Uh, I was gonna have the mussels, but I decided not to. Um, as you can see, they've got crispy fried fish. They've got fried shrimp with tamarind sauce and all, all reasonably priced. It's a good menu. It's not a bad hotel, this one. I mean, you know, for 36 bucks, it's, it's great, I suppose. Uh, what's that? Uh, it's salmon steak. Mm, grilled tuna with black sesame. Mmm, 280, which is about 10, about 12 bucks. Mmm. I mean, I've got to conserve money a little bit. Look at this, pancakes with ice cream, I might have that. Or steamed bread with pandanus dip. Mm, I love that pandanus, it makes a great dessert. What's this one here? Lava toast. Mmm. Honey toast. Pancakes with fresh fruit. That might be the go for me. Yeah, so that's the menu. Um, I'm having a... Um, I'm having a fresh... Fresh coconut juice, 55 baht, which is about uh, $2. It's the menu at the Klim Hotel restaurant. It's the restaurant, it's very, very big. There's no one here tonight, but since I've been here, there's been a lot of people here, a lot of people. So it's fairly big, they've got the fan going there for me. It's big, it's clean, it's tidy, and the service is good. The um, waitress is very friendly. She also does reception. She also helps you when you lose your card. So yeah, it's a good restaurant and it's a good hotel. And for 36 bucks a night, that's fantastic. Well, it's less than 36 bucks actually. I'll go through that later and I'll put it in the video.